Hello nice people and welcome to the channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Andrea, I'm Italian, I'm a passionate photographer and filmmaker and I'm here today to explain to you what is the video resolution? So just to let you know before we start, this video is a small part of a series of videos where in each one of them I explain one specific setting of your camera. So if you are on your way of start using a camera to film uh, like a point and shoot or a more articulated DSLR, this is the right place. In each video I will explain to you all the settings that you need in order to produce uh, some good quality video. Okay. If you want to consider to visit my channel, there you will find all the tutorials, all the vlogs, all the content related to uh, filmmaking, creativity and photography. And if you want to subscribe, you will be, you will be notified all the time I upload a new video. Woo, that's it, easy, let's get started. <laughs> First things first, what is the video resolution? Video resolution is the quantity of pixels that you capture in your frame, in your image. So it's the dimension of your frame in terms of pixels. You can understand that the higher is the resolution, the higher will be the number of pixel content in your frame and the higher will be the quantity of details you are capturing and the quality of your video. In any camera, the video resolution is indicated by a ratio, the ratio between the number of pixel content in the horizontal line of the frame by the number of pixel across the vertical line of the frame. So the three main formats you will have in your camera uh, concerning the video resolution are the HD format, the HD is the lowest in terms of quality, that is 1280 by 720 pixel. Then we have the full HD format, that is the 1920 by 1080p pixel, sorry. And lastly, the one that is starting to be used quite a lot in video is the 4K format. Yes, because we have also televisions now, TV, a lot of TV and screens that handle the 4K. That is, the, is a bit strange, the ratio is 4096 by 2160 so it's quite quite large then there are some other cameras a high-hand camera that can handle a 6k or an 8k resolution but the ones that i told you the three ones that i told you are the most common that you will find in any camera nowadays and now we arrive at the core of this video that is okay andrea what am i supposed to select in my camera what is the format i need to shoot my first film so that's depend on a few considerations so the first consideration is is it your gear able to support the big file like a 4k file so you need to check if your memory card in the camera if your hard drive and your pc stats are good enough to be able to manipulate and edit the 4K video. The second consideration is, what is the device where people are gonna watch my video? If majority of people are gonna watch my video on a computer through the web, like on YouTube, Vimeo, or that kind of stuff, most likely 1080p, the full HD format is absolutely fine, is perfect. That's the standard nowadays. On the other side, if you are shooting the video for a festival and you need to project it on a big screen or on a 4K screen, well, 4K is the way to go. I don't recommend the HD format nowadays, the 1280 by 720 it is kind of low quality, but the other two are absolutely something you need to think about. And then there is another factor that is my favorite point of considering the, this, the resolution when I select my stuff. That is, let's assume that I will project my videos on the web. So 1080p format is a full HD format is absolutely fine. On the other side, I have the ability of handle with my gear the 4K. Well, in that case, I prefer to shoot in 4K and then export in 1080p. The reason is that if I shoot in 4K and then I export in 1080p, when I'm doing the editing, I have all the freedom because I have, remember what I said at the beginning, you have a big frame with a lot of pixels and details. So you can stretch in post-production this frame to be able to fake some camera movement. So for instance, like I will do now, you can pan the image, enlarge and pan the image a little bit without losing resolution. Or you can zoom 
in or out without losing any resolution, of course, up to a certain point. But that's the magic of shooting in 4K for then exporting in 1080p. Okay, that was it for today. I hope that now video resolution is quite clear. In case you have comments, doubt, questions, as I said at the beginning, write them down below in the comment and I will answer quite soon. If you like the video, guys, I will ask you to leave a like so that you can support all the work that is behind this production. And guys, it's been a pleasure. It's been a real pleasure. I hope that you get, uh, you get out something out of it and I will be very, very happy to see you into the next video. Okay, have a nice day and I will see you very, very soon. Cheers.